What's up, guys? We're back. We're back. And I want to go ahead and share a couple of tips here from the book of Dr. Wayne Dyer. You'll see when you believe it. And it's all about, um, you know, being able to become better, be better for yourself and how more, how much more uh, it is important that it is changing your thoughts as opposed to changing the outside uh, circumstances. Right. So the reason that I believe in this so much is because I've been using that in myself and my own experiences, my own circumstances, understanding that I'm not my circumstances is very powerful and you are not your circumstances. So you can change that, but the power of your thoughts. So in the book itself, he's stating that you got to first change your thoughts before you change your actions. So for example, he gives an example of if you want to be fit, right? You want to get in shape. Everybody wants to be in shape, whatnot. The first thing you have to go ahead and take into consideration is the belief that you are already that person that you already are in shape, you already fit, and then you go acting as if from that thought. So for example, if you want to be a certain weight, you think about yourself being that weight, and then go ahead and act upon how would that person act. The healthy habits, maybe the eating habits, maybe your fitness routine. Um, you know, And also, not only thinking about it, but then, then uh, from that point on, acting as if and actually taking action on what you need to do. So if you know you have to go work out five days a week, you will have to go to the gym and work out five days a week. Um, not thinking that if you work out one day a week, you're going to you're gonna have the result, right? So so it's one is having the, the visualization of yourself that you want to be. And then two is actually taking the actions needed that you already know you have to take. And then three would be... Um, uh, I just forgot this came out of my head, but three is basically, um, you know, having the results and then knowing that you haven't failed. So if you are, you know, going from one, you know, you, you weigh 200 pounds, you want to be 150. Once you get to, let's say you, you got to 175, you didn't fail. You just produce results. So he says there's never any failure in life. It's just producing results. Um, he gives an example of putting a golf ball on a tee. And when you swing the golf ball and the, the golf ball might dribble to the side, doesn't mean you failed. You just produce that result. So you got to go ahead and now go back to the, to the beginning and understand what you did and how you can improve that and create the results that you want. They're not failure. They just weren't, they just weren't the results that you wanted. Um, and I think these steps are very important for all of us here um, trying to, you know, accomplish and grow and, and trying to be, you know, much better than what we've... Because I feel like we all are growth, right? If you're not growing, they say you're dying. So he also states... Let me just give you real quick before I let you guys go. You have to be willing... If you want to go ahead and lose that weight, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. And, and he doesn't say that you have to suffer, but he does say that you might have to... Wake up earlier if you want to go to the gym. You might have to do that. You might have to sacrifice that, that time that you feel like you don't have and prioritize the, the working out. You have to go and be willing to do whatever it takes. And if you're not willing to do whatever it takes, um, then that means that you don't really want to accomplish that. So, um, you know, take into consideration all of these factors and understand that everything starts with you and the power of our thoughts. So if we can go ahead and change our thoughts, we can go ahead and change our outcomes. We can be better, better ourselves and, and actually be happier with who we are than as opposed to blaming everything outside of us. So let me know what you guys think. And, uh, I will be back with this book. Guys, books is powerful tips. So, um, what are you waiting for? Peace.